Good evening. Good evening. You may find my relationship with bikes to be familiar. Before this Diamondback came along, there were a plethora of two-wheeled companions for my adventurous mind. There were big bikes, small bikes, bikes with shiny training wheels, and bikes that ended up, ended up in a ditch after showing off one too many times. When I first learned to ride nine years ago, keeping my balance was a struggle. Whenever I started wobbling, my legs froze and my panicked hands squeezed on the brakes for dear life. More often than not, that strategy ended with an unplanned rendezvous between my nose and the pavement. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Sounds simple enough, right? Unfortunately, keeping your balance in life can be really, really hard, especially when you're too tired to try again. <laughs> Seriously though, if staying balanced on a bike as a kid was hard, then how are we supposed to manage the complexities of adult life? Moreover, what does it even mean to stay balanced? Looking back at the past four years, I am impressed by the ability of my class to stay balanced. I've seen students balance an AP course load with a states bound basketball team. I've seen students balance internships, CTC, and college classes with band, sports, or musical in the afternoon. I've seen a class keep their balance through a lockdown and the loss of loved ones with perseverance to spare. Whatever life has thrown at us, we have kept moving forward. I thank you for the noteworthy example you have been to me. Nevertheless, we must never stop moving forward. If our 11th grade selves had been satisfied with our accomplishments last year, how much would we have missed out on this year? In the same way, if we are satisfied to walk the stage tonight and cling to our senior accomplishments forever, how many opportunities will we miss in the years to come? Cherish the memories of high school, but never cling to them in a way that hinders future growth and greatness. Use your successes to propel you forward. And always remember that change and growth go hand in hand or, should I say, in tandem with one another. In the coming years, the number of responsibilities we need to balance will grow. We will have college debts and mortgages to pay off, full-time jobs to work, and families to lead when we get home. While these future responsibilities may seem daunting, take heart. You will get better at balancing them with time. Just like bike riding, the more experienced you are, the easier it will be. Now, I'm no expert psychologist, but I do know that even seasoned bike riders fall down sometimes. We all fail at life at times, but you get to decide if you fail backwards or fail forwards. To make this decision easier, surround yourself with trustworthy people who can help you up in your time of need and gently nudge you in the right direction. Learn from your mistakes, but leave them in the dust once you get moving forward again. I leave you with the following encouragement. As the training wheels of high school fade away and you face the foggy future, go on. When you crest a hill of adversity only to face a mountain of tribulation, go on. When it seems like your integrity and compassion go unnoticed, go on. Whether you end up in a mansion, cottage, farmhouse, penthouse, doghouse, white house, or international house of pancakes, 
no matter where the winding road of life takes you. Keep calm and cycle on. Thank you.